Welcome to the world of robotics. This is a warehouse of JD.com, China's answer to Amazon. It is run by robots, 56 to be precise. They take care of all 5,000 square meters. They read the shelf, they carry the boxes, and they move them around. It used to be a human job. On a regular day, a stock picker had to walk 50 kilometers. And now, machines can easily beat the record without needing a break. Xiao Jun is the man behind the change. He's a programmer by training. But now, he's programming a revolution of his own business. We will put more robots and artificial intelligence into our operation. For example, a well-programmed robotic arm can sort one package per second, something out of the question for humans. But JD.com still relies heavily on human workers. The company now employs 120,000 workers, and it boasts the fastest couriers to deliver the biggest amount of goods to consumers in China. But gradually, the game has changed. And JD wants to become even faster and bigger with artificial intelligence, the new smart in the world. And I, as a human being, is a distractor here. It is not only in the retail business. AI is catching on in almost every aspect of life. At the 2017 World Robot Conference in Beijing, the Chinese are showcasing machines for fun, for business, for heavy lifting, and for subtle sewing. So where does this leave us humans? Humans will take on more sophisticated jobs. They may be the designers or controllers of robots, and they can teach machines to do things and be better at doing things. To teach machines, you need to know machines. And this is a training class for drone controllers. Already, there were thousands like it all over the country. This is just one class of drone controllers. But with the fast development of this technology, you can easily imagine hundreds of thousands of controllers will be flying goods to billions of people in the future. And the future may not be far away. This is J-Drone, JD's new courier in operation. It can carry 10 kilos of goods and travel 50 kilometers at a go. But it's not fully automatic yet. It needs a human to load, unload, and control. But you never know how fast technology will grow and how far it will fly.